All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to talk about fixing a problem in your uh, vocals and microphone audio called DC Offset, which I ran into while I was testing a new headset that I intended to use for um, streaming when I game and do stuff for my gaming channel. And I wanted to start like streaming on Twitch and stuff. And in a nutshell, DC offset, if you look here, let me zoom into the waveform. If you look here, there's this line of audio where there's this ambient noise that comes from my new Logitech headset that I got, but it's off kilter from the red line, which indicates the center of my waveform. And that's what's called DC offset. It's what happens when, um, your audio in your computer or some other device adds more power to your microphone in order to get a proper reading. And it's really easy to fix this problem inside of Adobe Audition. Let me zoom back out here. It's really easy to fix this problem in Adobe Audition. All you gotta do is go to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, and hit the Normalize process. And down here it says DC bias adjustment. And this will then, if you apply it, look, it's back in the center here. Isn't that fancy? And that's all you gotta do to fix that problem when you're inside of Adobe Audition. Uh, if you're using, uh, like, sort of like a plugin system where you've got a mixer next to you, there's a filter that you can use on that little mixer or the more advanced ones. That'll fix that stuff as it's coming in to your computer or whatever device that you're using to record. I don't have one of those, so I don't know really what to tell you about that. But one thing I can say before we head out of this tutorial, since we've already covered everything, is the reason you don't want this here is because Addition and uh, other editors like Audacity are going to treat this as if it's like a higher part of your waveform. So let's run that through one of my audio compressors that I use for my game audio. See, look, it's like it's turned that audio into a major component, and now my audio looks all weird and janky. But if I go back here and I go to effects, and then I apply my filter to normalize it, now if I put on that filter, where did I put it? I just made this. There we go. Now it looks like a proper healthy waveform that isn't all wonked out of shape. Although for some reason that headset, when I run it through my Mac, it has like these weird little squibbles here and there. But anyway, that is in a nutshell how you fix a DC offset problem using the normalize process and the DC adjustment, the DC bias adjustment here. And you don't need to have normalized all channels equally selected, but I always like to have these selected because I use those. Because if you have like, here, let me show you. If you have like clipped audio, because this audio is a little clipped, like right here at the top, using normalize in your audio can help make it not sound like someone chopped a chunk out of it when you're saying words. So anyway, that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very short tutorial. I just didn't find any good ones that explained it to me. So I found a forum post and decided to make this video. I hope this helps you out with your um, DC offset problems. I'm not a, a huge expert on audio. I'm always learning this stuff as I go. But if you have any questions on this, I can try to answer to the best of my abilities. But you may be better off Googling it first. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. This has been a, you know, an audio tutorial about fixing DC offset, and I'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and maybe check out my gaming channel if that's something that fits your fancy. Toodaloo, everybody.